I didn't like him, and he reminded me of every jock I had. Oh yeah, I remember like, he saying just, that in the dark. He was very, you know, good looking. Oh and like, yeah, just very muscular, conditioner. Yeah. Oh, bro, the guy, and he was talking so much at everyone, and then the streets was like, he went three rounds with Romero. He went three rounds with Romero. I'm like, yeah, I went five rounds with Romero. He's like, well, he didn't do shit. Fuck you. And I was like, I can't watch this. Watch this. So when I fought him, I remember. I just I was so I was dialed in, bro. I was dialed in. I remember in. watching that. We went yeah. to a, after the show. We went to a bar. I think we're in yeah. Indiana somewhere. We were in the Apex at the time. Oh, not the Apex. Um, the Fight Island. That was Fight Island. And yeah, I um I took him out. I took him for for a ride. I took it. I that took was his virginity he couldn't catch as well. him. Nah, he didn't touch me once apart from he in the legs. As well. I, I did seeing that. Yeah, and he just approved hundred percent. Well, it's also in some cultures, it's more it's dominance. It's, it's a, just, more appropriate too. Yeah, but I mean, like for me. I just felt it was the most dominating thing I could do to him because he was in that position. So yeah, in Brazil, being gay is just like two guys dancing. You yeah, know, or um, just dancing. high five. Yeah. You know. Boy, oh, so they have some high fives that'll last a Look long that. time. And look at country. the technique. Look at the squat on the man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's crazy, man. bro. You raw dog dude. them. It was good. <laughs> oh, oh, that's like heartbreaking. Bro. It was a good time. I enjoyed um, it. What no regrets. Of, what did you think of his uh, of his fight with Whitaker? It's a good fight. I liked it. I liked his jab in that fight. Yeah, I was like, okay, he came back. But man, that end of the first round when you when you rocked him with the wheel kick. Yeah. Woo! Did not expect that. And then again at the end of the round, so he got saved by the bell, came back, and Whitaker just just outguts him. He just outguts him. I thought it was close. Yeah. I same. thought maybe maybe Costa might have won. I felt he might have won. But then when they gave it to Whitaker, I was like, huh. Okay, well, it wasn't a robbery, but I thought Costa probably had it. Um, but yeah, he was good. He, he looked good in that fight. He's he wasn't the same after this. Everyone keeps telling me that you ruined that man. Really, you think that? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I don't think after that fight he wasn't the same. He was on a run. He had this. He, I'll tell you this: you look at the fight, you look at the first round, the way he looked at me, and they look at the second round when he's like, the, the, like you see his face, the demeanor changed. I love those moments. You take their soul away. You just know, like, this guy knows he doesn't want to be locked in here with me. And it's like during a video game, but their controller's gone. Yeah. It, it, bad dream for him. Bad dream for him. So it's like, oh, yeah, I, I like that moment. Um, But, yeah, I like the guy. He's funny. He's, a, I think he's an entertainer. He's, I, he's I good on he's Twitter. Uh, it, he's got a secret juice, secret juice and all that. It's um, fun. There's, there's so many... Uh, that's one thing I was wondering. Do you miss sometimes, just in the past year of being off or so, like, do you miss some of the entertainment? Like, like, because there's been a lot of great, like, the trash talk and everything's that it kind of, like, you know, like, like Strickland's yeah. so ridiculous. Like, him and MGK are yeah. arguing. Like, that shit is. Why? It's hilarious, though. <laughs> yeah. Like, do you laugh at some of it? Like, like it's just I didn't so. Really, I didn't really pay attention to it. I was like, oh, Strickland. I mean, Strickland, you put him in public, it's, uh, it's a different story. Yeah. Yeah, he's always got something to say, man. Yeah. Um. Is that a fight that you feel like you want to go? Like, oh, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Come on, man. I don't like, know. I don't yeah. know what, like, if yeah. guys get, like, um, that's it. They're like, I oh, care no, I, about going and vi revisiting that, not because of the fight, yeah. but just because you care or not care. So for me, when Pereira beat me, he beat me the first time. I went to Brazil. He beat me, knocked me out. And then I didn't chase it. I was like, you know what? I'm done with kickboxing. And then he said he got motivated because he saw me. You know, talking about him, and then decided I'm gonna go MMA and chase this guy, and he did, and then got to the UFC. They fast tracked him. He got to me. They and did fast track him. Yeah, I, I mean, it is what it is. I don't yeah. blame them. It's, it was a fuck. Look at what we have now. We have classics. So um, he beat me in this almost similar fashion in the way I was beating his ass, and then in the last round, he just had that spirit and just something behind him, some kind of shinigami. He just came and just beat me, and I was just like, fuck again. How is this guy? And then I let it go. And then I just knew this is the last one. Like after this, I'm I'm done with this guy. But I have to get him now. I have to get him now. And in that moment when I when I got it done, I got it done. It took me six years. And then I went after his kids too. I was like, yeah, where you at? Because I'm a petty motherfucker. Sometimes you want to end, you know, just let the lineage know what's up. Of course not. Like, because you don't want their kid fighting your kid at school or something. Yeah, nah, I won't even go to the same school. But like the fact is I had to teach his kids a lesson because of what they did prior. And this took me, what, six years to accomplish. With Strickland, it wouldn't take me that long. Uh, let me just get through DDP first. Let me handle, I, I, look, I, look, I look to the next fight. Never, I look ahead like a little peek at the future, but I don't try and focus on it. And I just know the Strickland fight will come back around. And I'm in, I'm in a good place now, health-wise, mentally. 
and I know exactly what happened in that fight that just wasn't for me. He's a great fighter. Put a, he's also a good champion. What a reign. I mean, he did what he did. Uh, Who's Strickland? Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, like, he did what he did. <laughs> yeah. Everybody can beat me up, so I should yeah. laugh at him. No, but I mean, like, he did what he did. Look, even the way he beat me, it was spectacular. It was his moment. It was his moment. Like, yeah. You, you, like, sometimes so, Dave Chappelle said something in this Dreamer special. He said, Oh, how did he put it? Hold up. I got. I have it saved here. Might I have to find it. No, no, I have it saved here. Give me two seconds. I'll, I'll, I'll play it right now in five, four, three, two, one. And that's the trick to life. You have to be wise enough to know when you are living in your dream. And you have to be humble enough to accept when you're in someone else's. They said that in the, his new special, um, I think, Dreamer. And I felt that. And I was like, yeah, because look, life is a game. I always use this moniker of player one and... Even people sometimes think, oh, he's so narcissistic. He thinks he's player one. I'm like, don't you? Are you a bot? Like, everyone can grab the controller and play the fucking game. But most people don't. Most people, I'm sure you see it. Most people just go through life just on the programming. They just go with the flow, whatever. And it's good to go with the flow, but whose flow are you going with? Oh, yeah. So for me, I had to, like, pause and question everything. And I realized that was his night. That was his night. He was just—he just fought the perfect fight, no matter what. I made no excuses. I gave it to him. But again, like I say, I'm a patient motherfucker. I take my time. I reassess, and yeah, I go for what what I want. You know, yeah. But you still feel a real fire for it. Oh yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. I mean, even the way look, I had bars ready, but I just the way he reacted when DDP mentioned some of his stuff, his trauma, I was like, ah. Oh. Yeah, that let me that let me know something. Again, even look, that moment you guys had was beautiful. I'll say that that was beautiful. I never seen him like that. Like I, after the fight, he's crying because he's so in, like, what the fuck? I just be I I I clocked it, and I was like, as a joke, I was like, hey, you're crying like a bitch. And he kind of laughed, and I was like, come here, and whatever. But then when he was talking with you, and then you guys kind of got really vulnerable, I was like, man, no kid you have to, you know, go through that. Yeah, it's heartbreaking. Yeah, it was heartbreaking to even see that. But again, look, I'm a human being, and I can connect with people on a human level, but right. it doesn't mean I'm not going to get you. Yeah. I'm not going <laughs> to... Look, I even said this about Silva. Look, just because I'm a fan doesn't mean you can't catch these hands. Right. <laughs> you know, Silva was my Michael Jordan wow. of this fucking game, and I was just like, I was ne I thought I would never fight him. And then the opportunity present, presented itself, and I was just, I had this trip planned for Amsterdam, France, all this kind of stuff, and then the opportunity came, and I was just thinking, like, I got to do it. I have to do it. Wow. And I did it, and it was a beautiful fight, beautiful way to, like, I, I wish he stopped after that. I wish maybe he moved to boxing after that, because he, even he said to me in the case, like, I passed the baton to you. And then and then just kind of like bless me with all these words, and I'm there like, <laughs> like just so cry, you know, for me because that was never meant to happen. Oh fuck, it was never meant to happen, but it happened. And I even have it framed in my house. We're fighting on this chess piece, like a chess board, because that's what the fight was. And I hit him with that Rock Lee stance from Naruto, and he's standing there like Gara. It just looks so cool. Like that fight was electric. It was beautiful. Just a master, just a masterful way to play the game from two taijutsu masters, if you will.